While it's fair to say that consumerism is running rampant throughout the developed and developing world, there's also an ethical upsurge, with people beginning to show concern about how products are produced. You can see this in agriculture and food, and also in the fashion industry. Cyril Nyker is leading a fashion revolution in South Africa, and we were intrigued by the concept of style with soul. When a garment factory in Bangladesh collapsed, killing over a thousand workers, it highlighted not only a complete disregard of local building regulations, but also the callous indifference shown by sweatshop operators to the workers who make their business profitable. This is just one of the many examples in the international fashion trade that inspired designer and events coordinator Cyril Naika to take up the cause of fashion revolution in South Africa. Start something like on Monday. Just to see what's happening. Karishma. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good to see you. You too. Are you well? Very well. Yeah, welcome to our office. It's been a year since we've seen each other. Has it been that long? Yes. Wow, we've got a lot to catch up on. <laughs> Let's do it. Historically, many major apparel brands have turned a blind eye to the exploitation practiced by suppliers of outsourced products. And the glamour that's projected on the ramp glosses over the human and environmental costs that are not revealed by the bottom line. This has resulted in a swing towards sustainability. Cyril, what is sustainable fashion? Sustainable fashion is pretty much how fashion impacts our environment, specifically the, the role that humans have in making our clothes and what we do to, to our planet. What constitutes fast fashion? Fashion that's made um, unethically, okay, in terms of slave labor, so people that are manufacturing the clothing fast in order to meet deadlines with retail stores. Um, also what happens is people see stuff on the runways in Paris and London and it is made uh, at ridiculously fast rates that it is impossible in, in normal structures to get it into a store but massive retail stores are able to get it. So that's really what fast fashion is. And the question one's got to ask is at, at what cost is that clothing made and at the cost of who? Fashion Revolution aims to give millions of previously anonymous workers across the globe individual faces and voices, giving us, as consumers, an idea of who makes our clothes. Why is there a need for this revolution? People are losing their lives. People are not getting paid fairly. And at the end of the day, it's simply unethical. Fast fashion isn't going to go anywhere anytime soon, but we can make better choices. You know, I like to call Fashion Revolution a revolution of the mind. It literally is how you think and how you consume, similarly like how you would gym and exercise and how you, know, you would think about your body. What you put on your body should also take the same cognitive approach. You know, it's in terms of who made this clothes, at what cost was it made? And then I think you know, that's living consciously and that's really living ethically, living sustainably and being eco-friendly. The quest for a sustainable, eco-friendly clothing industry starts with the raw materials. And the use of seaweed as a feedstock for a new generation of textiles is one of the many exciting recent developments. When you're wearing this breezy summer street style, you'd never guess that it started out as brown algae. But for an industry to be truly sustainable, it must also generate sales. And Fashion Revolution Week set out to generate awareness of its ethics and its products. What do you have planned for Fashion Revolution Week? We're quite excited because it's the first time in Fashion Revolution in South Africa that we have activations happening in Durban, Cape Town and Johannesburg. So there's a lot happening. There's panel discussions, there's um, fashion shows. We are highlighting designers that produce local clothing. And we have our media launch tonight, which is hugely exciting. And we are going to be telling um, the media what we're doing. But I think what we are really excited about, it's the first time in the history of a fashion week that sustainable and ethical designers are going to be seen on the runway. A Cape Town waterfront venue dedicated to showcasing craft and design offered an ideal space for an initiative that has set out to shake up the conventional mindset regarding fashion, business and social responsibility. Marketing material and face-to-face -face conversations spread the message ahead of the show, for which Karishma had selected a fashionably nude look. Hello! Karishma, you look totally different and beautiful. <laughs> Welcome! Thank you! 
what can we expect from tonight's event? Well, tonight's really going to be to get people to think differently about fashion. You asked earlier what was sustainable and ethical fashion. For instance, this is really what it's about. This fabrication, for instance, made out of plastic bottles, you know, and made right here in Cape Town. So that's something to really be proud of. So we're going to entice people by just getting them to shift their mind a little bit about what's being produced in South Africa. And the core message for tonight is really just to get the media to see what Fashion Revolution is all about. Members of the fashion media are important agents of the revolution. So we're in a room full of people that think consciously, that think ethically. And if you don't, and if you don't shop ethically, I hope that by the end of tonight, something would have shifted, the gear would have shifted. Among the movers and shakers supporting the initiative is specialist fashion lawyer Sumeya Damar. How do you hope to support this campaign? I hope to get lawmakers to change the import duties, to increase the duties on imported clothing and decrease the duties on imported fabric so that we can level the playing field in South Africa. How would you encourage our viewers to support this campaign? By buying local, wearing local and my personal philosophy is sort of when you buy something new, donate something old. This was Fashion Revolution's debut on the South African ramp with local designers spreading the message that being sustainable is not only sensible and responsible, but also deliciously sexy. While style itself is influenced more by emotion than reason, the commercial dimension of fashion is ruled by figures on spreadsheets. Sales will determine the success of the fashion revolution and this show made a convincing argument that sustainability makes good business sense.